the young man, energetic young man, by the name LeBron Ramon James Sr., who is now known as LeBron James. The questions many people might be asking is how did LeBron James become to be the person we all know in history of American basketball today? Who is LeBron James? And what was his early life like? How was his high school career like? What was LeBron's professional career? And how did LeBron James perform in the national career? And what kind of legacy in basketball did LeBron James leave? What is his personal life off the court? It's time for me to answer all these questions and more, since this is a S M R. Aaron, back at it again with another daily video to help you relax. So lay back and enjoy the ride. I hope this read helps you get you through your day, or even better. I hope this video helps you gently fall asleep. I can't wait to get started. This is the tale of the legendary LeBron James. Who is LeBron James? LeBron James is an American sports personality in the field of basketball and the Los Angeles Lakers player. He is known to be the most excellent basket star with a comparison to Michael Jordan, the legend. He has won three NBA championships and NBA Finals MVP awards, four NBA MVP awards, and another two Olympic gold medals. He has assisted the Lakers to reach eight straight NBA Finals between 2011 and 2018 seasons. He is a record holder of all-time NBA playoffs points scored and lies in the third position for all-time NBA points ever scored. He also takes the eighth place as an all-time NBA points assists. All these achievements couldn't be achieved without earning a call to represent the country at the international level. He made a record call cup in the All-NBA First Team 12 times and managed to appear five times in the All-Defensive First Team. What was LeBron's early life? LeBron was born as LeBron Ramon James Jr. in Akron, Ohio on December 30, 1984, to Anthony McClellan, father, and Gloria Marie, mother, who was muchly involved in raising him since his father is involved in a criminal record. James struggled in his early life as a young boy in Akron. The family used to shift from apartments in the neighborhoods by then due to tough times her mother was facing while struggling to look for work to sustain the family. James's mother knew the potential of her son when she felt being in well-off family things could be better for him. Gloria decided to join Frank Walker's family, who by then was a coach for the local youth football team. At the age of nine years, James was introduced to basketball by Frank, and this was to change his life for good. James made a big step and, in determination, started advancing skills in basketball when he was in grade five. Later on, James was introduced to play in the Amateur Athletic Union basketball, and he represented Northern Ohio Shooting Stars. His team was successful both on the local and national level. He played together with some of the notable names as his friends like Drew Joyce, 111, Cyan Cotton, and Willie McGee, who adopted the slogan name Fab Four. What was James's high school career in basketball? James's average points in his career as a youth were 21, and he had six rebounds on every game. St. Mary Varsity High School basketball team. The team was the only boys' team in Ohio that managed to end the season without losing a game. While playing as a sophomore, he scored 25.2 points on average, had 7.2 rebounds, 
3.8 steals per game, and 5.8 assists. Sometime later, he played in a home game where he wore a school alumni. Sometimes later, sometime later, he played in a home game where he there. Sometime later, he played in a home game. Sometime later, he played in a home game where there were. Sometimes later, sometime later, he played in a home game where there were school alumni, fans, college, and NBA scouts who had to come watch him play. He ended the season 26-1, becoming champions of state. He had an outstanding season and got a call to play in the USA Today All-USA First Team. He was, therefore, the first sophomore to achieve this status. James had featured in an American basketball magazine, Slam, before his junior year begun. In the script in the magazine, James was referred to be a fantastic high school basketball player in America by that time. Sometimes later, he was. Sometimes later, when the season had kicked off, James also featured on the Forts. Sometimes later, when the season had kicked off, James also featured on the Sports Illustrated cover, and this was the first time such thing. And this. Sometimes later, when the season had kicked off, James also featured on the Sports Illustrated cover, and this was the first time since such thing. And this was the first time such thing was happening for a high school. S- Sometime later, when the season had kicked off, James also featured on the Sports Illustrated cover, and this was the first time such thing was happening for a high school basketball player. James gained publicity in the season, and he got averages of 29 points, got 8.3 rebounds, and had 5.7 assists and 3.3 steals on every game. He once more became Mr. Basketball and got a calling in the USA Today All-USA First Team. He made history by becoming the first junior as the Male Basketball Gatorade National Player of the Year. His team ended the season when they achieved 23-4 record, and the season was over when they lost the Division II championship match. When James reached the senior year, he, together with the Fighting Irish team, participated in matches at the national level. He featured in a game against Oak Hill Academy, which is aired live on ESPN2. In the entire year, James got averages of 31.6 points, 9.6 rebounds, 4.6 assists, and 3.4 steals per each game. He once again was named Ohio Mr. Basketball and got a selection to the USA Today All-USA First Team for the third year running. James was also named Gatorade National Player of the Year again. He ended his education on a high note by helping the team win the state title the third time. His school team, St. Vincent St. Mary High School, was ranked top nationally. His impressive performances after high school made James earn the 2003 NBA draft. The Cavaliers signed him, his home team, who were struggling by then, and James made an impact on the side. Did LeBron James play football? He is already established best basketball player alive today on this planet and remains to be one of the best in world history too. Apart from that, it isn't hard to believe that James can play football as well. James played football for St. Vincent St. Mary's football team when he was an underclassman as a wide receiver. He was spotted by Division I programs and taking into consideration that LeBron is a talented and impressive athlete His playing position couldn't be a big deal as he would be successful at the end. In his career as a footballer while in high school, James preferred to play as a receiver. In his junior year, James managed to rack up 57 receptions, 1,160 that went 16 touchdowns. In football, these statistics are notable stellar figures which made him become an all-state receiver. James had a fabulous physique and composure. Standing at six foot eight and weighing about 260 pounds, it was difficult to stop him when you were playing against him with these features. It makes us believe that if James chose football as his career, he would have been dominant. He made the best decision to take basketball as his career because he has been the best player too. What were James's achievements after signing for Cleveland Cavaliers, the 2003 to 2004 rookie season? After joining the Cleveland Cavaliers in 2003, 
James began his senior career at the beginning of the 2003-2004 season. For that season, he broke the record for being the first member ever of the team to win the NBA Rookie of the Year award. He also became the best youngest player when he had just turned 20 years old. He averaged 20 points per game during this time, and he was one of the three rookies to get such an honor. He was in the same line with Michael Jordan as well as Oscar Robertson. His home team finished the season with 35-47, to and they were unable to head for the playoffs, but they had significantly improved compared to the previous years. 2004-2008 to Season James's professional career in NBA continued to shine when the next season began. During the season, he averaged 13 points, 8 rebounds, and had 6 assists after earning his first ever NBA All-Star Game selection. He was realized by most teams for the impact he had made for his team and the progress he had for his professional career at a tender age of just 20 years. When his team played against the Toronto Raptors on March 20th, he managed to score 56 points. And this was a record for such points and a single record for the Cavaliers by then. His final averages were 27.2 points and 7.4 rebounds. He also had 7.2 assists and got 2.2 steals, which were per every game played. He was eventually called to All-NBA team because of his performance and improvement in the NBA. The season ended with the Cavaliers failing to make it for the playoffs once more despite acquiring 42-40. When his team participated in the 2006 All-Star Game, he helped them win the match with 29 points and was the NBA All-Star Game Most Valuable Player. The NBA Most Valuable Player award went to Steve Nash while James came in second. James finally led his team for the playoffs for the first time since they did it in 1998. James had a triple-double in the postseason debut when his team took on the Washington Wizards. In the second game of the first series, James won his first shot of the game in his career as well. He also did the same when the fifth game of the series was played. The Cavaliers defeated the Wizards, but were later conquered by the Detroit Pistons when they encountered each other in the second round of the series. James's averages, however, dropped in 2006 to 2007 when he scored just 27.3 points per game. He had six assists with 1.6 steals per game, and his performance decline was attributed to lack of effort and focus on his skills in passing and selection of the shots. The Cavaliers won 50 matches at the end of the season, which helped them reach the playoffs once more for a consecutive year, and they were therefore the second seed of the East. During the NBA Conference Finals, James hit 48 points, 9 rebounds, and had 7 assists in the fifth game of the series. He also scored 29 out of his team's 30 points. This included the game-winning layup when only two seconds were left for the match to end when they played the Pistons. It was an excellent performance of the year, which was praised by Marv Albert, the play-by-play -play announcer. Commentator Steve Kerr echoed the same, and ESPN ranked the performance in 2012 as the fourth greatest in the history of recent NBA playoff. The Cleveland won the sixth game, and for the first time, they claimed the Eastern Conference Championship title. This meant they would face the San Antonio Spurs in a matchup in the NBA Finals. James was not at his best in the championship round as he averaged 22 points per game on 35.6 percentages. He had seven rebounds and six assists, and this was the end of the Cavaliers who were defeated in a sweep. When it came to the 2007-2008 season, he was at the forefront of helping his team improve their performance and their position in the Eastern Conference Championship. He was the All-Star Game MVP for the second time in February during the 2007-2008 season. He had scored 27 points, had 8 rebounds, and 9 assists. He became the Cleveland's all-time top scorer on March 21st, ousting Brad Doherty when they played the Raptors. He did this in less than 100 games compared to Brad. He also scored 30 points per game, which was the highest score in the league, and he marked his first scoring title. These accomplishments, however, were individual and did not reflect on the Cavaliers' performance, which had fallen to 45-37 to compared to the previous years. 
They were the East's fourth seed after making it to the playoffs, and they did it in style when they won the match against the Wizards. This was their first round match, and it was their third consecutive season win against the Wizards. In seven games in round two, the Cavaliers were eliminated by the Boston Celtics, who eventually won the championship title. What happened in the MVP 2008 through 2012 seasons? Towards the end of the 2008-2009 season, he was voted second as the NBA Defensive Player of the Year award, and he got a selection in the NBA All-Defensive Team. He posted 23 chase-down blocks and attained a total of 93 blocks, which was the highest by then in his career. James was the fourth post-merger player to guide his team in points, assists, rebounds, steals, and blocks in one season. The acquisition of Mo Williams, all-star guard, helped the Cavaliers hit a record of 66-16, and they were just a game short of leaving the best record at home. James reached final averages of 28 points per game and 7.6 rebounds. He also had 7.2 assists, 1.7 steals, and 1.2 blocks, and he was named the first Cavalier player ever to win the MVP award. It was written of him as having the best individual season in the league's history. When the Cavaliers played against the Pistons in the playoff, they won the match. They also played the Atlanta Hawks again in the playoffs, and they swept them to book a conference finals matchup with the Orlando Magic. When they played the first game of the series, James had 49 points with 66% shooting, but the team lost. They tied in the series at 1-1 in the second game when James hit the game winner. They eventually were eliminated from the series when they played the sixth game. His averages in the series were 38 points per game, and he had 8 rebounds and 8 assists. James managed to get 35 three points per game at the end of the postseason. During the early days in the 2009-10 season, James got a series of injuries that forced him to play the role of a temporary point guard. This was the norm for the Cavaliers with players who faced injury layoffs. In his leadership absence, the Cavaliers flourished in their performance, and they ended the year at peak, and for the second consecutive season, they had the best record in the league. The Cavaliers opened the playoffs by winning the Bulls and booked a second-round matchup against the Celtics. In the fifth game of the series, he got a lot of criticism regarding his performance as he managed to shoot just 20% for 14 shots and scored only 15 points. It wasn't a good thing for the team and the worst they had ever in franchise history. James couldn't overcome his emotions and boos from the home crowd, and he simply marched out of the court when the match was over. A lot was talked about what would come out of James during the beginning of the 2008-2009 season. He was nearing the end of his contract, as he was to be a free agent in 2010 if he opted to. It was not entirely clear if he would stay with the Cavaliers, and if he decided to quit, where was he heading to in his professional career? The New York Knicks was thought to be James's destination if he opted to try his career away from the Cavaliers. James disputed the claims and maintained that he was only focused on winning a championship with the current team he was playing for. Did James make an impact and advance his career with the Miami Heat? After his final contract with the Cavaliers was over soon, James became a free agent and he opted for a switch to the Miami Heat for the following 2010-11 season. Before he joined the Miami Heat, James had received offers from several teams like the Los Angeles Clippers, the Bulls, New York Knicks, New Jersey Nets, and his former team, the Cleveland Cavaliers. His former team wanted him to renew the contract, but he refused. It was during the same time that Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh, free agents, announced that they too were joining the Miami Heat. It was viewed that the trio had an agreement back in 2006 of switching to the Miami Heat. They did this because they had gelled well while their former teams, and if they moved together, it would become easier to face the competitors with courage. It looked as if James had betrayed his hometown team and the community as a whole. 
Cavaliers fans were recorded burning James' jersey in anger against the unnecessary decision he had taken. This action resulted in him getting the reputation of being the most disliked American athlete, which was after his interview with CNN in September. The fans were not pleased with his decision, and the majority owner of the Cavaliers, Dan Gilbert, followed after with the statement. He termed his decision to leave the club was grounded on selfishness. In the same letter, Dan also reiterated that it was a selfish and cowardly betrayal decision, but this did not deter James from becoming who he wanted to be. Was 2010-11 season the year of scrutiny for James's professional career? James's switch to the Heat made him the third and only reigning MVP to switch teams and number once since Moses Malone did it in 1982. They had a party to celebrate and welcome James and the other two who had also signed for the club. The party was held at the American Airlines Arena. During the party, James claimed that he predicted a massive change in the team. He was hopeful of multiple championships under his leadership with the team. 2010-11 was the season of scrutiny for James and the heat for both fans and the media as they were viewed as villains. 2010-11 was the season of scrutiny for James and the Heat for both fans and the media as they were viewed as villains. The adjustment wasn't automatic at the new team, and they experienced some struggles. After 17 games, the Heat went just 9-8, to and James loaded it over to constant criticism that the group was facing. James played his former home team, the Cavaliers, on December 2nd for the first time since his departure. He scored 38 points in the game, and he was exposed to a lot of boos every time the ball was in his hands from angry fans. Later on, the Heat managed to turn things around during the season, and they were seated second in the East at the end of the season. James' averages were 26.7 points per game, where he had 7.6 rebounds and had 7 assists. He also recorded a 51% shooting. For the second year in a row, the Heat found playing the Celtics again in the conference semifinals. James scored the last 10 points in the fifth game of the series and helped the team win the game. His team booked a ticket to play in the finals, and they went down to Dallas Mavericks in the sixth game of the series. After losing to the Mavericks previously, James got inspired and was determined to improve his performance. The Miami Heat began the 2011-2012 season with the best franchise, 18-6 record, and for the third, James was named MVP when his finish averaged 27.1 points per game. During the second round of the playoffs, James scored 40 points after they had gone down 2-1 to Indiana Pacers. The Miami was facing elimination when they were playing the sixth game and James scored 45 points and had 15 rebounds, and he helped the Miami to victory. They also won the sixth game, and they were headed to the finals with a matchup against the Oklahoma City Thunder. In Game 5, he scored 26 points, had 11 rebounds, and had managed 13 assists. Finally, James had hands on the title with the Heat, and he was voted the Bill Russell NBA Finals Most Valuable Player as he averaged 28.6 points per game with 10.2 rebounds and 7.4 assists. ESPN, later on, ranked James the second best player in modern NBA history. During the 2012-13 season, James managed to reach averages of 29.7 points and had 7-point assists per game and he managed to record shooting efficiency records in multiples. The Heat also recorded back-to-back -back wins in 27 games. It was the third longest streak in NBA history. The season ended with Miami having a franchise and recorded the best 66-16 leagues record. James became MVP, and this was his fourth time with just a vote of being named the first player in NBA history to clinch it unanimously. He had final average scores of 26.7 points per game with 56.5% shooting. He had 8 rebounds, had 7.3 assists, and 1.7 steals. In his final stint in Miami, he had a career high as well as a franchise record of 61 points when they played against the Charlotte Bobcats. He finished having averages of 27.1 points per game and was on 56.7% shooting spree. He had 6.9 rebounds and 6.5 assists. 
he tied a career-high postseason in the second round of the playoffs. This was when they played in Game 4 with the Brooklyn Nets. They outclassed the Pacers in Round 2, and they reached their fourth finals in a row. James did not feature in most games of the fourth quarter as he was nursing leg cramps. He, however, featured in Game 2, and he was influential when the Heat became victors by garnering 35 points on the shooting of 64%. San Antonio later eliminated them in five games. James made a comeback to the Cavaliers on July 12, 2014, after his contract with the Heat ended. The Cavaliers had struggled since he departed to the Heat, and his return was highly welcomed. His return was met with a series of injuries, and out of 82 games of the 2014-15 to season, he featured in just 13. He helped the Cavaliers end championship drought streak when they reached the NBA Finals. He became the first player in almost 50 years to get through to the championship consecutively in five seasons. James's chapter at the Cavaliers was closed on July 1, 2018, and he decided to join the Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers were struggling with James injured in early February of 2019. His stay with the Lakers lowered his career performance and the Lakers got eliminated from the playoff competition in March 2019. It indicated that he was not going to achieve 13 postseasons consecutive appearances as well as getting 8 straight appearances at the NBA Finals. The second season was better when they signed Anthony Davis and the Lakers led the table, thanks to James. He eventually became the first NBA player to earn a triple-double record versus all 30 NBA teams in November the same year. What was his personal life? James was married to Savannah Brinson, who she met while in high school. He proposed to her on December 31, 2011 on her 27th birthday party, which also happened to be New Year's Eve. They got married on September 14, 2013 in a private wedding held in San Diego, California. James and Savannah have three children, two sons and a daughter. Bronny, LeBron Jr., born on June 14, 2004. Bryce Maximus James, born in 2007. And Zuri, their daughter born on October 22, 2014. Wrap Up from a young but promising schoolboy born and raised in Akron, Ohio by a mother who was struggling to make ends meet, LeBron became a brilliant, career-oriented, and hard-working personality. He won great titles and awards in basketball, and who knows what lies ahead of this ambitious, great basketball player. James has become one of the most celebrated basketball superstars and has broken records at a young, tender age. Who knows whether he might end up being an influential person on in the world. We wish James to live happily ever after.